Hi, I've done some previous problems working with this um, real data. Um, if you want to look back at the previous date, previous video. Uh, however, this I want to look at, um, kind of isolate a problem where we're asking about the probability that um, we're going to be landing in between two values because this one's a little bit more involved, a little bit longer, but not much. Um, and really, if we're looking at this, what is the probability that the battery will last between 2.5 and 3.5? And this is those years. Okay. Um, What's once again, we can just simply take this and put it into numbers really easy. We know that our X is our battery lifespan, and that's what we're asking about here is the battery lifespan. Is it going to be between these two values, or what is the probability that it will be? So we're just simply asking what is the probability that this random variable X is going to be between 2.5 and 3.5? So in between we use these symbols. We want x greater than 2.5, less than 3.5. If you want to kind of sketch that out on a normal distribution graph, I'm going to draw it real small right here. Um, we have our mean uh, right here in this case of 2.3. So between 2.5 and 3.5, we're kind of right here. And we're looking for the between. Okay, that's the area that we're wanting to look at because area and probability are the same thing on a normal distribution curve because the, um, the area under the curve is one, so it, it works out nicely. When you're talking about parts of the whole, it's the same as a probability. All right, um, so for a between problem, we need two z-scores. We need the z-score of each x because we want to standardize this into a um, using the standard normal distribution so that we can use our table. So let's find the z-score of 2.5 using that z-score formula of x minus mu. So our mu, our mean is 2.3 divided by the standard deviation 0.4. The z-score of 2.5 is, if you do this math, is going to be um, 0.5. 0.50, so it rounds. We always round our z to two decimal places because that's what it is in the table. So I'll go ahead and throw that zero up there as well. Then we'll find the z of 3.5. I'm just going to put it in here. So we're taking our x of 3.5, subtracting 2.3, and dividing by 0.4. So this z um, is 3. Two decimal places again, so I added some zeros. So really, just to save some space, I'm going to erase this. We're looking at the probability, just standardizing that, 2.5. The z-score was 0.5, so I'm just going to replace that here. I always think that it's nice to rewrite the problem in terms of z. You hear me say that all the time in class. Don't skip that step. It makes life easier to look at z's instead of x's, um, to look at your problem to where it's one like you dealt with in the standard normal distribution. Okay, this z-score of 3.5, we just found it. It was 3. Okay, so now we're wanting the area in between. I, I've drawn that up. Um, and you can go back and watch me hash out exactly how to do an in-between and why it works like that if you go back to the standard normal distribution. Um, but we want to find the areas to the left of each of these, okay, the areas to the left of each of these, and subtract them. Um, the 3 is going to have more area to the left because it is a bigger number, so it's farther to the left. It's going to have more area to the left, so I'm going to look up it first. Um, and it's, if you look it up in the z-score table, Okay, it is, the area to the left of it is 0.9987. Okay, that's the area to the left of 3. And then if I look up 0.5 in the table, the area to the left of it is 0.6915. Okay, so you do the subtraction. Don't do any weird subtracting from 1, just simply the area to the left of 3 and the area to the left of 0.5. Um, do this subtraction and you get 0 0.3072. All right.
And so this is the probability that our battery is going to last between um, two and a half and three and a half years.